Hi, everybody. It's Lynn McTaggart. I'm author of The Field, The Intention Experiment, and The Bond, and also the architect of The Intention Experiments. Last Sunday, we did a trial run on my other Facebook page, uh, doing an intention of the week, which was nothing new. We've been doing them for years. We just haven't ever done it live. And if any of you were part of this, you might remember we did an intention for Maria Rose Salerno, who got addicted to hard drugs after being addicted to prescription drugs. A very, very common situation. This really beautiful 29-year-old daughter wanted her life back, but she never could stay in rehab. So her mother wrote us and said, will you let her be part of the intention of the week? And so we did one last week, and I have some amazing news for you. She never could stay more than a weekend, really, in rehab. And four days after our intention of the week, uh, her mother wrote me to say that she voluntarily signed herself up for a two-week program, and she's hoping to stay there 30 days. Now, this is a first, because whenever she's been going to rehab before, her mother has had to do the, all the signing up for her. So it's really incredible to think that perhaps we had that kind of effect. So before I get started a bit on our new intention of the week, and also to talk to you a bit why uh, we might have such a powerful effect, I want to just find out where you guys are from. So do you want to just tell me? I'm going to look and see. So where are you from? Tell me where you're, where you're writing in from, where you're watching from. Um, we've got some people from the UK. Where else? Where else are you coming from? Anybody else want to say? I'm just so excited to see so many people um, involved here. Michigan we've got. Where else? We've got from, from the Irish countryside. Uh, we've got from Wausau, UK. That's great, because our intention of the week is from there, too. That's fantastic. Um, anybody else want to let us know where they're from? Um, we're just really excited to be doing this. Now, I want to just talk to you a bit about why this may work. Um, it's really interesting to think about the whole idea of group intention, because when we think about intention, we think about it as a solitary act. And we don't think that it can supersize in a group. But my experience in my master class workshops and in my conferences where I've spoken and even in uh, my, my in-person retreats is that a small group or a large group, a group of any size, seems to supersize it. And it also almost creates a public commitment of a person's intention. You know, think about it. Think about the power of a group of strangers out there basically taking time out from their busy Sunday to send you what amounts to prayer. I mean, what a powerful idea that somebody out there who you don't even know has your back. And I think that's really what's going on. So we're going to do it again with a really worthy person this time from the UK, and her name is Carol Howard. Now, I'm going to hold this up when we do our intention, but let me tell you a little bit about Carol. Carol has pancreatic cancer, and her friend Jane wrote in to say that basically that um, they thought they'd caught it sufficiently early, um, and she had an operation to remove the cancer. And she came through really well and seemed to have healed. Um, and then had some chemo until September and then was placed on a trial for immuno immunotherapy drug. But a year on, it, the cancer returned. And she's in pain now. And Jane wanted to let everyone know what a fantastic person Carol is because Jane herself is from the UK like Carol. Um, but she moved to Canada, and they met on a personal development course. And what she basically said was that Carol um, was such a lovely person 
that when Jane's mother died, she came over, she traveled to Canada to help clean out her house. And she's just a, you know, just an amazing person. So she really deserves our intention today. And what I thought I would do too is play a little music when we do this. So what we're going to do is hold this for some minutes together. And here's the really interesting part of this. It's not just about sending it to Carol. The incredible thing about group intention that I've discovered is that it has an amazing rebound effect. It affects the senders as well as the receivers. And in all of my intentions, large and small, the big intention experiments that I run with scientists where we try to affect tar remote targets with my international audience, or just my small experiments where I'm doing them in workshops or on teleseminars where I've got people in a, in a group, what I call the power of eight. Even with those small groups, we find that not only the target gets healed, but the people doing the sending. So when you're doing your sending tonight, I want you to feel how it feels. I want you to experience the amazing power of connecting together with a small or large group and see what's happening to you as you're doing this, okay? So I want you to feel what it feels like to have this kind of ecstatic sense of oneness. And that's what I hear all the time from the people who are doing this in my workshops and teleseminars and e even in my large intention experiments. They talk about this ecstatic state. And it's that state that allows amazing healings to happen in your own life. When you experience this ecstatic oneness, it's very similar to what Buddhist monks try to achieve after years of practice, or Sufi masters, or people in any kind of religious order. They study meditation, they study all these techniques and practices. But what I found is that you can get there almost instantly, just through the power of group intention. You feel what it's supposed to feel like to be part of something bigger. So let's experience this now, and then we can talk about it afterward, okay? So I'm going to play a little music, as I say, so we have a little experience. I hope you can hear this. It's going to run from one of my computers. And I want us all to hold the following intention as I hold up Carol's picture. We're going to hold an intention, for, and I want you to hold it as our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer, and to be healthy and well in every way. It's important to bring that other phrase in because we want to heal every part of her for every kind of condition. So just hang on one minute, and I'm going to start this music, okay? And I want you all to feel like... better put on my glasses and see what I'm doing. So I want you all to... Connect together psychically as though you're holding hands. Okay. Here we go. So I don't know if you can hear that. But in any case, let's just hold on to this intention. Our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer and to be healthy and well in every way. And just keep holding that intention. And just imagine you're part of a, con a larger connection. You're holding hands with everybody on this broadcast. You, there's no distance between you. You're all connected together. And while you're holding that, every so often, go back to your intention statement.
our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer and to be healthy and well in every way. And as you're holding this, imagine what's happening to you. Imagine yourself being healthy and well in every way, too, and feel this connection with both with Carol and with yourself. And feel the connection with everyone on the broadcast. Just imagine you're in the same room together and you're all connecting. There's no separation between you. There's no distance between you, no matter how far you are away. You're all connected. You're all part of a larger whole. You feel that. You have that palpable sense of oneness. Many people, as they're holding this kind of intention, feel some sort of tingling in their body. Can you feel that? Can you feel the power of the connection? It's building now. Our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer and to be healthy and well in every way. And the interesting thing about these kinds of intentions is that they build for yourself as well. Some of the people who have been on my courses talk about feeling like they're sending and receiving all at the same time, that they're sending for themselves and they're sending for the other all, all at once. So just feel that. Feel the power of this invisible connection, this psychic internet that we're creating. and feel it rebounding to you as well. The amazing power of altruistic intention, of getting off of yourself. Our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer and to be healthy and well in every way. And just take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. And a deep inhale and a deep exhale. And keep holding that intention. Keep going a bit deeper. Keep imagining Carol healthy in every way, reclaiming her life, being vibrant and, rig and vigorous and fully healed. And imagine that also for yourself, whatever needs healing in your own life. And we'll hold it for just a few more minutes. Our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer and to be healthy and well in every way.
Keep breathing deeply. Keep connecting deeply. Feel the power of that connection. You can almost feel it as a palpable sense of energy, a palpable connection. Our intention is for Carol Howard to be free of all pancreatic cancer and to be healthy and well in every way. Okay. Now just imagine one last visualization of Carol free of all cancer and healthy and well in every way. And now just allow that intention to go off and trust the process. Don't worry it, just let it go. And in your own time, slowly let go of everyone else you've been connecting with. Slowly let go of your own intentions for yourself. And in your own time, come on back onto this broadcast. Into the here and now. Okay, so how was that for you? What did you feel? Did you feel that kind of connection? Did you feel that incredible sense of tingling? Let's see what some people said. Heart buzz again, says Malene. Okay, and uh, did you feel that as a big sense of tingling in your body? Yes, says MR. Amazing, whooshing in the center of my chest. Tears out of gratefulness. A lot of people cry through this experience. Someone from Tunisia, oh my love, fabulous. Carol is free, says Olga. Absolutely, this is wonderful, says Deha. It's incredible in the sense of the rebound effect that you feel. You feel the energy and the tingling as everyone is saying. We have someone else from Tunisia, that's fabulous. Tingling in the hands. Yeah, it's that palpable. That's the amazing goosebump, says Inga. That's the amazing thing of it. It's so powerful that you feel this incredible rebound effect. And what will be really interesting is someone says, Herbie says, very emotional experience. Thank you all. Thank you, Carol Howard. It is very emotional. Amazing. Eve Sarah Roberts, Robinson says, love and light. It is amazing. And Carol is fine now, says Gregory. So what will be interesting is to find out what happens to you. In my workshops, I discover over and over again that the people doing the sending also feel it, also feel it in their lives. So it's not just this kind of immediate palpable sense of oneness, but it's also and, and Jane, who is the friend, said she feels a tingle and a strong pain in her chest. It is that powerful. But what ends up happening, and this is what I'd love for you to journal this week, is what's going to happen to you. Not just what happens to Carol, but what happens to you. So just be mindful as you go through your week to see what's happening in your health, in your relationships, in your career, in your office? Are you getting along better with your colleagues? Are you getting along better with your loved ones? Are you changing anything physically? Are you better? Any of the conditions you have 
I felt the happiness and I had a pain in my knee that had been re that is relieved exactly, says one. That's the kind of thing that we find all the time, a kind of rebound, amazing rebound effect. So I want to tell you some um, one little secret that I teach in my workshops and my intention boot camps, which is all about being specific. Now, many people think what we should have done is just said, you know, let the universe take care of Carol and do whatever is supposed to be best for her. I found just the opposite, that it's really important to be very specific. In a, in a number of my workshops, when people say intentions aren't working for, you, for them, the biggest problem is they're not specific enough. They may send an intention to make more money, for instance, but how much more? Or they may send an intention for a particular, you know, they want to change their job, but they don't say what they want to do. Or they want to market a, a workshop of their own. Or they, they want to, to become somebody who teaches workshops, but they forget to talk about the sales part of it. They don't remember the thing in its totality. And that's all about being really specific. So that's one thing I want to talk to you about today is the importance of being specific and why we focused on Carol's pancreatic cancer. So in your life this week, I'd love for you to look at some of the rebound ways that this affects you and also some of the intentions you have in your life. Now, before we close, are there any questions that you have for me? I'd like to do this more and more because I love connecting with you. I love the whole idea of a live experience with an intention of the week. And I think that I'd love to find out exactly what's going on with you. We also have a little thing you'll see on Facebook called You in a Year, which is a little survey we're asking people to fill out, which is just to focus on their own specific intention. What do they want in their lives? And what do you want? What specific intention do you want to come to pass in a year? So if you'd like to be part of this, fill it out. And I've for any last questions. Oh, that sounds amazing, says Herbie. Wonderful. Okay, we need the weekly recharge, says Nora. That's fabulous. I'd love to be part of that. Wonderful. So a number of you have also asked if, they, if I do anything more than this. And of course I do. I do. We're starting one on March 25th. So for anyone who's interested, please hit one of the buttons on this Facebook page that talks about it. And you'll find out more information about it. There are special 24-hour offers as well that I think my team put together. So find out more by just clicking some of those pages. Um, and in this boot camp, what we do is we put people together in groups of eight for an entire year. I notice Juliet and a few other people who are part of this Intention Masterclass are on this broadcast right now, which is wonderful. And they found amazing things happen in their lives. And the big key, and the thing that I do that's a little bit different from everybody else, instead of focusing on I want, I get, what I try to show people is once you get involved with altruistic intention, your life improves. To get, you've got to give. And it's not just a nice little charitable thing to do, it's an essential thing to do. If you want to have all of your intentions come true, just get off of yourself. And that's what we try to do with our intentions of the week. That's what we do with our year-long intention master class. So my little word for you before I go is just focus on someone else and see what you put out to the universe and how it comes back to you. Double. Any last questions before we head off? I came late and felt the energy. What is... The best practice to send intentions, says Olga, besides being specific? That's a big, big question, Olga. 
there's loads of things that I talk about. I talk about um, focusing on the other, as I say. I talk about the right times and right places in my workshop. Um, I talk about how to focus on negative intention and um, the best way to overcome it in other people. I talk about the importance of still being open and not trying to cut yourself off when you're trying to avoid negative intention. And there's many, many other things that I talk about. Developing the right heart state, developing a very focused mind state. These are all really important to become an intention master. And also, the huge power of small groups. I like to call it the power of eight. So that's the sort of thing we do in our intention master class. And it, we hope, turns people into intention masters. And that's what happened with certainly last year's group with the people who stayed with it and stayed with the groups virtually a hundred percent had major major changes in their lives so i know it works i know there's something incredibly alchemical and amazing about the power of small groups i've seen it happen over and over and i think that is the secret more than anything else so uh, another question would you help us set a specific global altruistic intention for the week? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great one. Um, I'm going to intend right now that America comes together because I think the divisions, the terrible divisions that are happening in America are going to reverberate around the world. So why don't we just intend, have a little, as you go through this week, spare a thought for America and just unite it. More than anything else, that's what it needs. Okay, everybody, it's been a delight to spend some of our Sunday together. So just remember to keep your intentions specific and to remember that all it takes sometimes is just a single thought to heal yourself and heal the world. Take care. Until next time. Bye.